Outgoing UNM President Bob Frank's future was the topic today of an hours-long closed-door meeting this afternoon. But with the president threatening the regents with a lawsuit, the board appears to be playing the waiting game. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at Schools Hall on campus with the story. Alex. Jessica Dean, the board met behind closed doors here starting this afternoon well into the evening on the agenda today, whether to suspend or possibly fire UNM President Bob Frank. But after being behind uh, doors, closed doors for nearly four hours, the board adjourned without doing anything. Frank was already set to leave his post at the end of May 2017. In late September, the regents agreed to give him six months paid time off and move him into a $350,000 a year faculty job at the Health Sciences Center. Here's what they said about his exit at the time. We look forward to working with him as he continues his, the remainder of his presidency here and advancing his agenda. But since then, a trio of internal reports critical of Frank have come out. One accused him of verbal bullying and running an office that had, quote, shades of a hostile working environment. Another raised questions about his spending practices without finding any evidence of fraud. Frank has fired back, accusing the regents of defaming him with those investigations and has threatened a lawsuit. All of this comes when the university is facing tough financial times with the state in a big budget crunch. Higher education across the state got hit hardest. Just about. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Alex. The regents are scheduled to meet again next Tuesday. No agenda has been released yet, but President Frank's firing could be up for discussion again.